Hi everyone, Grant K here for the Flame Premium Learning Channel. In the previous videos, we concluded how alpha and the mat containers are handled in the sequence. We will now start digging into the finer details of timeline effects and the effects pipeline. We'll start off by examining the comp functionality that is present in every segment's effects pipeline. In a nutshell, the comp tool controls how the segment is composited and blended with any tracks beneath it. Select any segment in the sequence and you will see the comp timeline effects at the end of the effects pipeline. It is off by default. Secondly, you cannot delete the comp timeline effects because it is essential to the timeline's architecture and compositing capabilities. So as an example, I have two segments layered on top of each other. If I turn comp on for the top segment, the mini toolbar will appear. This mini toolbar contains your relevant blending tools for this segment. Here you can adjust the transparency of the current segment to reveal the tracks underneath. You can also set the blending mode of the segment to determine how it is blended over the tracks below. So for simple layer blending can be done efficiently in the sequence without having to call up a compositing environment. Another point to reiterate is that COMP also supports alpha channels. This was shown in the previous videos working with alpha in the sequence. Now let's look at how COMP works with other timeline effects in the effects pipeline. The first example is simple layer compositing. We would like to scale and reposition the top layer as well as composite it over the underlying tracks. To do this, call up the effects ribbon by pressing CTRL TAB for Flame Premium or SHIFT TAB for Smoke Advanced. Choose 2D Transform to add it to the top segment. I'll just make a simple picture in picture effect. Now if COMP is off, then any generated alpha is ignored and the background is black. If COMP is on, then the generated alpha is acknowledged and the top segment is keyed over the bottom tracks. So why does it work this way? As I said in earlier videos, Reactor 2.0 is the batch processing engine that runs the effects inside the timeline. Now looking at the effects pipeline and imagine it as a flow graph containing a string of nodes and processors. You can see that the top segment was transformed with the 2D transform tool and then composited as A over B using the comp tool. So this raises an important question. If the comp timeline effects is integral to layer compositing, why is it not on all the time? Well, certain timeline effects will react differently depending if comp is on or off. The best workflow example to demonstrate this is using G masks for color correction. I'll select this segment and apply a color corrector to it. Please don't be too concerned about my look as it's the workflow we are focusing on. Now I would like to isolate a portion of this clip for the color correction. In previous versions of Flame Premium and Smoke Advanced, I would have to duplicate the layer, move it to the top, do some rotoscoping and remove the effects off the bottom layer. In summary, this was quite cumbersome. Now just add a GMOSK timeline effects to the same segment. At this point, you would go into the editor to draw your mask. But in the interests of time, I will load a circle mask preset. Now compositing logic dictates that you first create the mask and then color correct its contents. So move the GMOSK before the color corrector in the effects pipeline. At this point, COMP is off so it looks like nothing is happening in the player. If you turn COMP on, then the mask will slice through the segment and you would see whatever is on the bottom tracks. Since there is nothing underneath the segment, you get black. So having COMP on, the mask acts as a compositing tool. Now turn COMP off. The mask is in the effects pipeline, but currently it is not being used as a compositing tool. Select the color correct timeline effects. At the far right of the mini toolbar, enable Use Mask. The mask is now being used as a holdback mat for the color correction. 
so the function of the mask is different when using COMP or not. Just a quick side note. Because Use Mask is on inside the colour corrector, even if you turned COMP on, it will be cancelled out by the colour correction settings. As a final example of using COMP in the timeline, you could use it to prepare render pass composites. So you would have the timeline tracks to layer up the render passes and you would use the blending in the COMP tool to get the look you're after. With the layer based approach, you can be sure that all the timings match up and you don't have to connect anything together. You can also reorder the render passes by changing the layer order. Now if you then decide that you would prefer the composite as a flow graph to do additional work, simply select all the passes. Call up the effects ribbon and choose Include Timeline Effects. Going into BFX, the composite is completely rebuilt as a nodal flow graph. You can see how everything is composited using comp nodes. All the layering and settings you see here match the original layering and settings of the timeline. In the next video, we'll take a look at the action timeline effects and how things have changed compared to previous versions of Flame Premium and Smoke Advanced. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Flame Premium Learning Channel for future videos.